He was the foreclosure king of Florida. David Stern's law firm handled more than 70,000 home foreclosures last year in a state that had more of them than any other. It's good business. Stearns made a fortune, bought tens of millions of dollars worth of homes, sports cars, and a yacht. But now his office is being investigated by Florida's attorney general for allegedly unfair and deceptive practices, including allegations that one of his top deputies, Cheryl Salmons, got extravagant perks for pushing through foreclosure documents at a dizzying pace. According to a sworn statement from a former employee posted on the attorney general's website, Salmons would sometimes sign a thousand foreclosure files a day and in some cases would have other people sign her name for her. The former employee said of Salmons, I think it's every year that she always gets a new car and vacations and gifts, jewelry. Another employee, who's also said to have fabricated documents, got perks from David Stern like a house, a car. The attorney for Stern and Salmons said neither would be able to speak with us. The attorney agreed to a phone interview. To the accusation that some former employees have given uh, in, in sworn statements that uh, employees of the firm were given jewelry, cars, uh, houses in exchange for altering and forging documents and speeding them through, signing them without even reading them. Well, of course, these statements were taken in secret by the attorney general. We weren't given the right to cross-examine, so... I think they're suspect for that reason, but as to the cars and jewelries uh, allegation uh, in exchange for altering documents, that's not true. But the Florida Attorney General's office said the statements were taken as part of the investigative process and they had no obligation to make Stern's side aware of them. We got these pictures of David Stern from a private investigator who's involved in an ongoing dispute with Stern. I'm joined by Clifford Rossi of the University of Maryland. He is the former head of risk management at Citibank's Consumer Lending Division. He had similar positions with Countrywide Bank, Washington Mutual, Fannie and Freddie. You told me that you were not surprised by this. I'm not surprised at all, largely because this is very eerily reminiscent of what we saw on the way up with the mortgage crisis and during the boom, uh, in the sense that we had lenders doing lots of things from an underwriting standpoint, paying off folks, you know, providing perks much like this to get a lot of loans on the books. Now all of a sudden we rewind to today and we're seeing on the downside of all of this. Rossi says we'll likely see a lot more investigations like this as states and now federal investigators probe the foreclosure process nationwide. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.